Oh my gosh, there's so many of you guys in here already. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Let me hop and po for a sec. I know uh, everybody's gonna ask where we are. And um, Blue had chemo a few hours ago, so we're in an Airbnb for him because this is probably not news to all of you, but if there is anyone new, he's not allowed to be out in inclement weather right after chemo, so. We're in an Airbnb with a heated garage. <laughs> a heated garage. So I figured it was like a perfect time to do a live. We're, we're saving this monthly live by the skin of our teeth because it's the 31st. And then um, I figured it's a good time to deep clean pelt. Did you guys hear that? Anyways, um, there's just popping noises going on. Figured it was a good time to uh, clean pose since we're in a heated garage. How many times am I gonna say heated garage tonight? It's so cold outside, I can't even begin to talk about it. <laughs> um, where can I say you guys that like is lit? Where's everybody tuning in from? Let me know. You guys know the drill. Arizona, Seattle. Hi, hi, hi. You want a Land Rover so bad? Do it. Don't let the haters get to you. North Dakota, hi. Checking in from Russia. Oh my gosh. Hello from Detroit. Hi. Hi, hi. California, Oklahoma, Georgia, Toronto, Lapeer, Michigan. I love all the Michiganders in here. Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Philly, Virginia, UK. Oh, isn't it so early for you guys in the UK right now? South Wales? What time is it for you guys over there? Hi from Middle Earth. <laughs> Grand Rapids, Michigan. Are you hanging out with my parents? <laughs> Houston, Texas, Flint, Montreal, South Africa. Holy cow. What happened to our lions? I know. What a crazy, wild, happy season that also ended so, so, oh my gosh, I was so cocky that game, the way they came out in the first quarter. Let me just football talk really quick. I was like texting all of my friends like in the first quarter, like we're going to the Super Bowl, <laughs> like screw the 49ers, and then they choked. So my, <laughs> my friend Zach was like, stop saying that because you're gonna jinx yourself and they're gonna um, lose and then they did. So honestly, it's my fault. It is my fault. Yeah, but what a what a thrilling game. Tuning in from Pakistan, that's so far. Denmark, holy cow. You guys are everywhere. We only lost by three points. Yeah, what if we had stuck a field goal? You know what I mean? I don't know. Kentucky, Alabama, London. Oh, I want to go back to England so bad. Um, What is the time there now? It's 5.13. Would you ever consider roaming reckless in Europe? <laughs> okay. You want to hop up, bub? Yeah, come on. Hop up. Here's Mr. Um, Blusif. He really should be inside the Airbnb resting, but he just refuses to let me do anything alone, so... Thank you. We're just going to let him do what he wants. That's my motto for life right now. So I really should just shut him in the Airbnb, but whatever. It's Blue's world and we're all just living in it. Okay. Where do we even start? Blue is so cute. I know. I'm surprised he's not passed out. Usually after a chemo, he just goes to sleep for like several hours, but he's still kind of kicking right now. We're not keeping you up too long, are we? Are we? Huh? Do you need to go to sleep? 
Do you need to go to sleep? Hmm? Look at his ears. <laughs> That's so cute. Him and Lisa go to sleep. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, did I just knock your head? Sorry. I'm a bad mom. My favorite red flag that I have is I constantly buy baseball hats and then I never wear them. I only wear like the same two that I've worn the last three years, but I just keep purchasing more. Sorry guys, I'm trying to catch up. I can only read it so fast. I think Blue wants a Sprinter van. I think, what do you think, Blue? He's like, no. <laughs> not cool enough for me. Blue's words, not mine. Have you, why have you not spray filmed the gap in the bed and cab? Because I just haven't gotten around to it. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That is so sweet of you. Thank you for the donation. That'll go right into Blue's chemo fund. Directly in. I was at um, the vet's office today and they gave me, because we're like starting to, uh, I don't know how much, you know what? I don't know how much I want to share right now because this will be in a video. You know what? I'm going to put a pause on that. Sorry to be annoying. <laughs> You're so pretty, pretty, your videos don't do you any justice. That's because I put the ugliest, worst version of myself online. <laughs> it's usually when I haven't showered in three days and I'm in the middle of the woods, so. Um, yeah, you know, a shower can do a girl good. Hey, from Scotland. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want to go to Scotland really bad. I love Ireland. I heard if you love Ireland, you'll love Scotland. Uh, my back hurts. Your videos make me want to solo travel? Do it. Do it. Because you know why? Because life is too short. And if it's something that you love, if you love to travel, just do it. You have your whole life to work nine to five and you have your whole life to like build a career and catch up on stuff. So just do it. Do it. What if you died next week? You'd be like, I wish I would have spent more time doing what I love. So just do it. You know, figure it, figure it out. That's my advice. Just figure it out. Where are you? You don't look cold. That's because I'm shut in a garage right now. Thank the Lord. I love that Blue's just staring at me. Do you need to go inside and rest? I think this might be too much for you to sit out here and keep watch. Like, I promise I'm, I'm going to be okay. He's such a guard dog. He is so tired. Diesel heater is a game changer. On um, it's the thing is powerful. Yeah, the diesel heater is super powerful. The only thing I have to figure out still is snow falling off of Poe because it's all melting. Um, I need to figure out how to run it off of my Jackery because the way that they told me to hook it up isn't working, and so I actually I need to call them tomorrow. Somebody remind me to call that guy tomorrow, please. And I need to ask him what the heck I'm doing. I love that I just have butter in a plastic bag inside of a grocery bag. How long has that been in there? I, mean, I guess the good thing is that it's like negative 30 degrees, so it's probably like a fridge in here most of the time, but okay. 
Ooh, I don't know that it's like good for you to be jumping up and down all the time, Bubby. Because you just have chemo in your leg. Don't eat that butter. Don't eat the butter. What else do I need to grab out of here? Hold on. One moment, guys. I'm going to start getting like stuff out. Clear some space. The cold has been so extreme lately that all of my gear stopped working. I can't fly my drone. My main camera started uh, like malfunctioning. So right now I'm quite literally left with my GoPro and that is it. And I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't sound super fun to me. I only have a GoPro. A bag full of Keurig pods for the Keurig I don't have. You're so cute, Bubby. You should go to sleep, Bub. I might kick him out of here soon, guys. I uh, feel bad. Thank you so much. My wife and I love all your videos. Thank you, Dom and Ryan. That's so sweet of you. What's new? What did I miss? Jennifer, thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys, stop. You don't wanna make me cry in live, do you? You guys, thank you so much. That's so generous and I really, really appreciate it. But don't, please don't feel like you have to give me money. Ronnie, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I haven't had Olipop in so long. Ooh, hold on. Who am I saying hold on to? Myself. Thank you, Cindy. I saw something, oh. Are you gonna cook dinner tonight? Uh, I wasn't going to. I was mainly just going to clean while I have the opportunity to. Cleaning is more important than eating right now. But I, I guess I can if you guys want me to. Okay. What am I even doing? Look at all these piles I'm creating. It makes no sense. This is like my ADHD kicking in. all of my grocery bags and I shove them on the corner of my Dometic and then I use them as trash bags later. Hi Matt! ADHD, I thought you didn't have it. I thought you diagnosed me with it. <laughs> so, I guess we'll never know. I think I have tendencies for sure. I mean, I 100% have tendencies. I don't know if I actually have it or not. I might also just be a little stupid. All right, what am I doing? What am I doing, Bubby? What's up, child? You can come up here. You wanna come up? Come on. No? Come on. Yeah. Lay down, take a nap, would ya? He's like, no, I'm, ins I'm just gonna stare at every single thing you're doing. 
prayers for blue thank you so much um that is honestly what we need the most of right now prayers for blue to be the first dog that lives forever would actually be that's my preference if you don't mind shooting that to the big man upstairs for me <laughs> really that'd be great thank you joy thank you oh it's almost time to feed blue we can just do that in here Malcolm Gladwell yeah I think I've read one of his books before thank you thank you coffee is honestly what's keeping me going the going the day so I will put that to good use have you drilled holes for the diesel heater cover there's holes drilled all over Poe but I didn't do any of them I'm sorry if that doesn't answer your question. I don't know. Have you guys ever used a Theragun? Game changer if you're living on the road because your back always hurts. Because you're always contorted into weird positions. I don't think I've ever shown this on the channel before. But get yourself a Theragun. These things are insane. I have scoliosis too. So this like saves me. Did you win the $800 million Powerball when you went back home to Michigan? Can you imagine? You know, literally, you wouldn't be able to tell if I did win it because I would be just doing the exact same thing. I would pop, you know what I would probably do though that would set it off, tip it off, is I would probably pay to get Poe uh, professionally restored and that's like a six figure process to do that to old vehicles. I'd probably do that. Just so that I don't ever have to deal with a breakdown for like years and years and years. That's how you'd be able to tell if I won the Powerball. When I'm like, oh, Poe, he's just getting every single part replaced. Don't worry. I just saved up my pennies. You'd be like, nah, you won the Powerball. Powerball? Powerball? Power, did I just say Powerball? <laughs> thank you for whoever just donated, Patricia. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I need to have my IQ retested. I don't even speak English these days. What I need is some nice Saint Nickerdoodle coffee. Honey, you should mention that. I, I, I want these guys to sponsor me. I don't even need them to pay me anything. I just need them to give me free coffee and I'll put their entire logo on the side of Poe. I just, this is my every this is my everything yes i'm still in alaska i'll be here for a few more weeks so i'm really trying to like film the best content that i can and like there's so many things in alaska that i wanted to do that i haven't really been able to do for so many reasons i was so unprepared blue is you know not doing super great Thank you. Well, he's doing great. You guys know what I mean. It's just like tricky and inclement weather and stuff. Anyways, but I'm trying to like really do as much as I can before I leave. Oh, this smells so good. Like even from outside the bag. What's the name of the coffee? St. Nickerdoodle by um, North Pole Coffee Company. You, got, you know, you guys want to know how cool you guys are? I mentioned this on, um, I think it was the first van video is when I first mentioned this. And you guys put in such an influx of orders that they contacted me and were like, we would love to meet you. <laughs> and so they're like, next time you're in Fairbanks, please come meet us. Patricia, thank you. And so because of you guys, eventually I'm going to go meet these people. That's crazy. All I'm going to be like is, I just, I would just love for you to give me seven pallets of the coffee. That's all. That's all I'm asking for, if you don't mind. We'll see what they say. <laughs> Probably going to be like, no, we just wanted to give you a sticker. <laughs> oh, so funny. I think this is why I do so well alone because I just crack myself up. I really entertain myself. You bought some and now it's your favorite coffee? See, it's the best. I think it's the mix of cinnamon and hazelnut in with the vanilla. It's just, 
It's perfect. Um, I don't have like a link on me, but if you go to North Pole Coffee Company or like Google North Pole Coffee Company and their website, you can order it online. I'm not going to lie to you. If you're not in Alaska, the shipping is pretty pricey. I shipped some home to my mom to try and it was, I remember being like, oof, you know. Um, so it is pricey shipping, but I love, I love it. Penny, thank you. Thank you so much. Eight dollars for ranch dressing? I don't even want to talk about it. Okay? I'm still upset. I'm I should go through my uh my grocery list. I just went grocery shopping and it's just like insane. Insane. I wanted to film a um this summer I did a video called like budget truck camping on a hundred dollars a week and it's a series i want to start because i just want to see how cheap i can truck camp while traveling to show people that it really is not as daunting as it seems like obviously there are downsides and there are things that cost money like especially when you have an unreliable rig <laughs> um but you don't need to be like super rich to do it so i i want to show everybody that you can do it affordably anyways long story short maria stop talking um, I wanted to film an Alaska version of the budget week of the hundred dollar budget week. And I, I was grocery shopping today. Like literally how like, the prices are so expensive here for everything. I just, I don't know how I would make it work. I still think I'm going to try probably going to fail, but I still, I th would you guys want me to do that? Would you like that video or should I just not even attempt? Yeah. You're so fake. <laughs> I'm not going to say what. My first reaction was because I'm on a public platform. No, I'm not going to do it. We're PG 13 here. All I'm saying is if you think I'm fake, you can exit the live. Isn't that what's amazing about free will, buddy? Like if you don't like something, you can just move on. It's crazy how you have that right to do that. You should really enact it. Thank you. Your Walmart sells that? That's I gotta look at Walmart for those. When am I coming to Hawaii? I don't know. I can't wait for Hawaii, but I, <laughs> I have bigger fish to fry right now. Thank you, Colleen. And also, I'd like, there's a lot of states. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> One bottle of ranch on me. That's so funny. Um, do the $100 a week video. Okay, you guys want me to suffer. I see. I'll do it. I'll do anything for you. I'll do it. Um, oh, what was I saying? I just lost my train of thought. What's the update with Blue? Because he's gotten sleeping. He's like, Mom, shut up, I'm napping. Okay, my bad. Do I talk? I feel like I do talk kind of loud. Do you like beer? I don't. You could probably do the $100 a week if you don't buy coffee. Yeah, there's no I no chance I would even be able to, but I just have this huge heifer of a bag. So this will get me through a week easy. So this is my coffee, but it's just like, I don't even, I just think like groceries alone are just so crazy here. If I had $100, I don't spend any money on coffee, and I don't do laundry, and... I keep driving to a minimum. It would like, the majority of the budget would have to go to uh, food. Thank you, Off Grid Backcountry Adventures. I'm really sorry to hear about your dog. I can't like, 
that kind of stuff just like makes you want to bawl my eyes out because I just can't imagine like the day that happens what that's like I'm so sorry to hear that thank you Jeremiah what is your favorite gas station I don't know that I really have a relationship to a gas station Um, Bucky's. I love Bucky's. Say something in Spanish. No. Vet bills are always a lot. Pet insurance is a must. Yes, I really regret not having pet insurance on Blue. It was something that I feel like I kind of always thought I was going to do, but I just never got around to it. And like, that's how it always goes, right? Back to cleaning. You're right. Thank you. You're right. Um, but yeah, I never, I never got it. And now I'm quite literally paying for it, so... What wildlife have you seen in Alaska? I've seen, what have I seen? I've seen a bunch of bald eagles, a bunch of moose. I think moose is probably what I've seen the most of. Um, when I was on the ship up here or like the boat or what, ferry or whatever you want to call it, when I was riding that up there, we did see a black bear on the coast, but it was kind of far away. I haven't seen like any bears, obviously, because I'm up here in the winter, but, um, yeah. Thank you, Darren. Yeah, blue is worth everything. You know what I, okay, not to be like morbid, I love how I just like, oh, anytime I talk, I somehow get morbid, like what is wrong with me? Um, but like sometimes I just think about how special blue is as a dog and I feel like for the rest of my life no matter what dog I get no matter how great I think they are and I'm sure how much I'll love them like they'll just never be blue and I think I'll just like always kind of compare them to blue you let me know if you had like your heart dog or whatever first and then you got other dogs after how does that work do you feel like it's like a kid where you just like still love them just as much you know Parents will have kids and they'll be like, how am I going to love a second one just as much as I love the first? And then they do. Maybe it's like that. But also I just feel like there's, there's so many things that Blue does that no other dog that I've like been around does. Like there's so much freedom. Like I love that I trust him so much no matter where I am. I could be like on a highway median or I could be in the wilderness or I could be like anywhere dangerous kind of. And if I open the door and I tell him to go potty, off leash he'll just go right away and come right back and it, it could be anywhere dangerous i know he'll never veer outside of like the little space i need him to go to the bathroom in like that's so nice oh my gosh thank you tim wow thank you so much that is so generous of you holy cow you guys stop i'm gonna cry that's why you need to get a totally different dog than blue so you don't compare but i I feel like I have to have an Aussie for the rest of my life. Like I just can't, like I would love to rescue as well, but like I also need at least, at least one Aussie in my life, you know? Oh, don't tell me I didn't love it. I didn't defrost one of Blue's uh, foods. Foods? Dinners? Thank you. You guys are being so generous. You really don't need to give me money. Thank you so much though, like, oh my gosh, my guilt complex though is like gonna eat me alive. 
Do you have a lot more cleaning to do? Yes, but we need to take a little pit stop really quick and go feed Blue inside, and then we'll come back out and really get into it. So let me... All right, let's go defrost Blue's food, feed him dinner, and then we'll come back out to the truck. Sound good? <laughs> come on, come on. I saw someone say, am I, spon I think, am I sponsored for Blue's food? I am not. I wish, because this stuff is so expensive, it'd be nice to just like get some free food, you know? But um, no, I am not. I pay out of pocket. The company that I use is called We Feed Raw. They're just like, after the, all the research I did, they're just the best that I found. Um, so yeah. Oh, what? Oh. Did they seriously not have a sink stopper in here? Anyways. I guess we're gonna, they don't have like a sink stopper. So I guess we're just gonna have to let it run for a little bit, okay. Come on, come on Papaloo, back to the truck. You are so cute. Yep. Yeah. Just got in, where are we? We're in an Airbnb because Blue had chemo today. Um, so he needs to rest for like 24 hours before we're allowed to go back out to cold weather and camp and film. So that's what we're doing tonight. And because I'm in a heated garage, we're going to clean or organize Poe and set ourselves up for success because we're going into like negative 55, negative 60 something degree weather for the next uh, three or four days before it warms up. Yeah, so I'm gonna literally have to leave Poe running for like four days straight because I can't, I can't shut off the engine in that kind of weather overnight or we're gonna be stranded, you know? Um, where did you get Blue any funny puppy stories? Um, Blue was a Christmas present from a friend of mine and he came from like a little family breeder up in the UP of Michigan and boy do I have stories of Blue when he was a puppy. Oh, come on, babe. Come on. Come on. Come, come, come. Um, Blue was definitely like, we had growing pains together when he was a puppy because if any of you have herding breeds like German Shepherds, Blue healers, Aussies, you understand. <laughs> it's like they're working breeds. So they need constant like mental stimulation and they need as much physical stimulation as mental. And I didn't know that because I was just like a 21 year old or 22 or however old I was kid who just got like a puppy. And I was like, cute. You know, like I didn't, I was like, I used to walk blue because he would never wear out. Like he was just always on go. And my vet yelled at me once because I was like, yeah, I'm walking him like three miles a day and he just like doesn't quit. And she's like, oh my gosh, like he's too young to walk that long. Like you, you can't walk him that much. You need to give him like a job. And that's when I was like, oh, he needs a job. So then I made fetch his job because I didn't have any sheep. And, um, and then like, a year later after that, I put him into professional training, like a two week board and train program with sit means sit. I will do that for any dog I have in the future. It was so, it was so night and day difference. The blue that was before sit means sit and the blue after, like my dad talks about it all the time. Like he's just a different dog. Um, so that's when we really started doing better. Right, pup? Come on, come on, you wanna lay down? Yeah. Because, like, I finally knew how to work and communicate with him. And then after that, I worked for a dog trainer for, like, 
four to six months or something like that. Maybe like, yeah. So then I, um, I learned how to train multiple different dogs and like that was my job for a while really really interesting and then I started reading all about dog psychology and learning a lot more about it and so all of that combined has us to where we are today and I'm definitely in a way better place like if I ever got a puppy in the future or another dog or whatever I feel a lot more capable but it was a learning curve with Blue he taught me a lot he chewed up MacBook cords and Beats headphones and ripped up all my clothes and my shoes. Remember that? That was so fun. That was so fun and all my pillows. He ripped them all up. Yeah, but it was my fault. Your sons train Malinois for the police. That is so cool. I follow a guy. What's his username? Modern Malinois, maybe? I follow a couple accounts of Malinois trainers on Instagram, and it's just so fascinating to me. I've always wanted one, but I, I know I'm not there yet. Training-wise, I just, I don't have enough experience because, like, I have enough experience to deal with, like, normal dogs, German Shepherds like you know working breeds but a Malinois isn't like a working breed it's like a Velociraptor on crack who also has the IQ of like Einstein so if you're not like on top of your game game and like super um well versed with what they need you'll create a problem so do you miss human contact <laughs> No. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? Blue is eight. What's the furthest down south you've ever been? Hmm. I've been to Key West, like the furthest point in the U.S., if that's what you're asking. Not a family pet. Yeah, they're they're just they're work mode all the time, which is why they need to like be in bite work. They need to work for the police. They need to be on like missions. They like they need purpose like crazy. And all working breeds need that in a sense, but they also like can become normal dogs. Yeah. Or Malinois are just nuts. Yeah, they're on a different level. It's like it's like the difference between like a Navy SEAL versus a kid in high school who's thinking about joining the army. <laughs> That's the difference between Malinois and normal dogs. Why are you so bad at cooking? Listen, Seth, I just, you know, I don't really care about it that much. Um, I've never just had like a huge interest in it. And um, I'm not a picky eater, so there's not much that upsets me to eat. So therefore I don't really put too much effort in it, you know? But like, you're not gonna wanna invite me over to your family's house to help your mom cook. Like I'm gonna be more of a liability than anything. Maria, check your running water. Okay, I will. Well, it's draining. It's, dra okay, we'll go check it. We'll go check it. Come on. Can you imagine I just flood the Airbnb? That would be cute. We Gucci. He's probably kind of able to hold on. Do we have scissors? Oh, yeah. oh, we have a knife. Land Rovers are the equivalent of a Land Cruiser. If you know, you know. Well, I would argue that Land Rovers are way better, but that's just my two cents.
I love that you guys are defending my cooking in the comments. That's so funny. Listen, I like, we all know I'm not that great at it, you know? Like my dad loves to tell people that I'm a liability. There's just any chance he gets. He's like, my daughter can't cook. But everybody has strengths and weaknesses, you know? So I just, I don't feel the need to be perfect at it. Maybe I'll get better someday. That'd be cool. It's not like I don't, you know, like, oh my gosh, that was a double yolk. There's a double yolk egg for blue. Cute. Where's the trash? Anybody? There we go. And so, yeah. Eric said I tried, it went one year, not the other. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like I can, I can cook with somebody and I can pay attention and be like, oh, I get it. But then as soon as that like meal is done, I can't recreate it myself. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like I'll pay attention in the moment, but it's like, it just doesn't stick in my head. So, uh, here we go. Feeding blue sieve, nummy, nummy. Sit. Okay, I'm gonna leave Blue in here to eat and then rest because he's just not gonna sleep if he's out with me and he really does need to get sleep after chemo. So we'll check on him in a little bit. I do love to bake. I can bake. I used to bake in high school all the time. Like I used to just make people cookies and cupcakes and pie, like homemade pies. When I lived in Colorado, I got into this pie phase. <laughs> like where you're like braiding the dough and like, what's that called when you're like, I forget the pattern name but anyways I, I love baking that i can do but it's science it's like mix these things together do this and bake it at this time it's not like saucing it up and like adding random stuff like i feel like cooking is more of an art and baking is science so i'm more thank you sarah i will definitely make sure blue gets a snack when are you getting your wiper motor fixed I don't know. I do need to figure that out. There's always something. Yes, I have a carbon monoxide detector in Poe. It's um over here by the domatic sink. You lived in Colorado? Yes, I lived in Colorado. Um, I started off in Colorado Springs for a couple years and then I went to Callahan. I've lived so many lives, it's crazy. And I'm not even 30. I used to work for a Department of Defense contractor and had like a security clearance and stuff. I used to work in an airplane hangar and help plan programs for government aircraft. That was fun. That's how I met like a lot of my adult friends that I have now too, is through that job. <laughs> the more you know, you guys are like, I don't care. Talk about camping. Yes, the water isn't shut off. <laughs> Do you online shop a lot for being on the road? Uh, kinda. I do a lot of like, in the lower 48 especially, I do a lot of like Amazon locker pickups and stuff. Those come in handy. You're in, I love Colorado. I love Colorado. 
you know, I've always kind of thought that I would have like a little bit of like a base in Colorado eventually, just cause it's such a good middle state to like pass through and grab stuff on your way out. And I'm always out West and I have so many friends there. So eventually when I st set up like a studio or like a garage or something, cause I do need like some place to drop all my seasonal crap and work on Poe and will learn to work on Poe rather. I can't do anything alone right now, but yeah, I might do Colorado. I don't know. Or Wyoming maybe. Who knows? Montana is great, but it's just so far north. Hi mom. My mom's in here. Everybody say hi to my mom and tell her that she's wonderful and pretty and an angel and so sweet because she is. And she also makes the best candles on earth. If you want to support a local businesswoman, go to kingdomharvestco.com and get the best candles you'll ever smell. And they're clean and carcinogen free and toxin free. And they're the best. There, mom. I give you a shout out. <laughs> do you remember staying in the nuclear site that time yes i would love to go back there someday that was super fun okay guys well this is um it doesn't look better because this is just my pile of blankets but it's more it's definitely more organized i think we're pretty much good in the back um i just need to go in the front can I link that? I don't know how to link it. Hey, Eric, do you mind linking my mom's website? I'll see if Eric can do it. Cause he, um, I just, I can't like use my phone or type when I, when the live is going. Cause I'll, it'll X out. Thank you, Patrick. You guys, my console broke today. We got to figure what that's all about. Ooh. I just got my socks wet. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate ya. It's like hard to fit up here. My mom is a sweetheart. Thank you for saying that. She really is. You know, my mom, there's like maybe like three people I've met in my life who I just genuinely think don't sin. Like they just don't have the capability of even having a bad thought. And my mom is one of those people. She's just like genuinely good all the time. Thank you, Eric. Eric just linked it if anybody wants to check it out. Support local. Oh, there are my editing headphones. I've been looking for these. Thank you, Jessica. You just started watching a week ago? Thank you. How is Rue doing? Do you mean Poe? What is that? I don't know how Rue is doing. I need to take my multivitamin. Skincare secrets, please, or brands you use? Uh, I'm not the right person to ask because I just like scrub my face with <laughs> like, bar soap half the time. And use makeup wipes, which are like notoriously bad for you. And the environment, I heard. I didn't know that. So I need to find a different alternative now. Yeah. Oh, the console? Okay, sorry. It can be fixed. It's just this hinge, see? Look at that. Rude. I don't know where the screws, the screws must have come out. How did that even happen? Yeah, I gotta go find little screws and put that back together. Truck House Life shouted me out? When? That's so nice. I love him. We've been um, chatting on instagram because obviously we're both in alaska right now and both dealing with the crazy weather and so yeah we've kind of become like online buddies and i'm hoping to meet up with him while i'm up here he's so nice like genuinely just gives you any advice he can or like tells you about things going on in the area like the kind of guy you feel like you can just ask anything he's so sweet 
But yeah, I hope I see him before I leave. There is my pen. You guys, you, you literally, when you have time to organize, it's crazy the stuff you'll find. Okay. I want to see if the screws went back here. But I can't use my phone for a light. I might have to do that later. Yeah, he's super nice. Please do a hoodie sale to raise cash for blue. Um, so here's the thing about merch. <laughs> like, um, I love merch. And it's probably just me or the company I go through. But since I can't be in one place to do merch myself, like a lot of creators who have a home base will pack up and ship out the merch themselves, which saves you a lot of money. And I have to have a third party do everything, like print, ship, package, they do it all. And because I am on the road 24 seven, I don't have a home base, you know what I mean? And so because of that, my um, like profit margins are razor thin. Like I make, I virtually make zero money on merch. It's kind of like a wash. Um, so it's like super fun and I love it. You know what I mean? But doing a hoodie sale for blue would, it wouldn't do anything for him, unfortunately. Have you stayed permanently cold since you've been up in Alaska? No, I've been, I've been good. Did you always know you would be traveling and living out of your Defender? Yes. Since I bought it, that's the reason I bought it, you know? Any advice for living in your car to afford being in grad school? How would you approach it? Hmm. I think it just goes like anything else. Like, just budget and be smart. Um... Like there's, the thing about living on the road now is there's so much content about it and there's so many resources about it now. You could find info anywhere on like stealth camping or like there's so many people have so many varieties of setups and like some people camp in really small cars. So like if that's what you're going to do, you could follow people who um, have like advice for that kind of setup. Or if you're going into a truck, there's so many truck campers who like build their own setups when i started there was zero there was no one and i was like i'm just gonna wing it <laughs> so you're definitely be uh, starting off better than i was but i guess as far as like specific advice i don't you'd have to ask like a more specific question if you insulate your truck would it take space away from the inside no not really it's like this thick Thank you. Belly button is such a funny username. <laughs> Have you looked into print on demand for merch? Yeah, that's that's what I am doing. It's print on demand. Yup. It works out super well for me because I don't have to like do anything, but um I need to wash this. This is dirty. Blues blanket over his seat how do you donate for blue um his his gofundme is technically still live um i just don't everybody's asking me to post it in the comments of that video about him but i just that makes me like feel bad like it makes me feel guilty i don't want anyone to feel like they have to i don't want i need to put this inside too this is cold no wonder it's not working um i don't know i just have a I don't know. It makes me feel too guilty. Um, if you guys would like to, you're totally able to. Um, just know I'm going to cry.
please re I don't, you guys, I don't want to repost it. it. I feel like it makes me, like, it makes me feel too bad to repost it. It's, it should still be on his last, like, the first cancer video or something, if you want to find it. Sorry, I'm, I don't mean to, like, be annoying and send you on a witch hunt or anything. It just, I feel like that's such a weird, weird thing for me to approach. Hi! Good evening. How was your dinner? I see, where are you? I see you're not sleeping whatsoever. <laughs> Thank you, Curtis. You guys are so kind. Hello, excuse me. Look, he looks so sleepy. Yeah. I need to take a nap. Ooh, I just almost dropped my phone as I'm holding it. <laughs> you need to go to sleep, kid. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's like falling asleep. Okay, Bubby, go rest. Go rest up. No, no, no. You're gonna stay in here and sleep, okay? Yeah, you need to nap. Do, 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 do. You guys, I was up on Hatcher, Hatcher Pass the other day, which is like a mountain in uh, Alaska, obviously. And um, there's like a place to camp up there. So I go up there kind of often. And I shouldn't have said that. Why did I say that? Now I can't go back there. <sighs> oh my gosh, Maria. Use your brain. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> what was even my point? Oh, I saw a mouse on the snowbank. Like climbing the snowbank. A mouse. And that stresses me out because... When you have like a warm engine and you're in a cold environment, the mice will run to your engine for heat and then they chew all your wires while you're sleeping. And I have like mice repellent packs like at certain, like in like the corners of Poe and stuff, but that's such a big fear of mine. Okay. Do you guys want to see my dash, which is like my version of a junk drawer? Where's your grandpup, mom? He's uh, in the Airbnb. I'm trying to get him to sleep. I'll send you pictures later. Will Blue continue chemo in other states? Yes, that's the plan. What are your thoughts on Florida heat? I hate humidity. I don't have pet insurance on blue. I do like beaches, um, but it, I'm more of like a mountain wood girl than I am like a beach ocean type of gal. I just realized that I need to bring in and clean that knife set that I was filming with in my last video. Look at me, guys. I'm remembering to wash stuff. This is awesome. Ooh. Also, everybody was yelling at me for using Clorox wipes, but I use Clorox wipes and then I, and then I, um, like I wash it off. I just use it as like a preliminary cleaning, if you will. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you, Eric. This is my proof that I'm gonna clean my knife set, okay? It's the Lord's truth. The little paws. No, 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 Bubby, you gotta stay in here and sleep, okay? Relax.
Thanks, belly button. It sounds like I'm talking to my own belly button. You hate cleaning? I love cleaning. I love it. I just don't get like an opportunity to do it enough. Under car lights, mice won't go inside the car then. I'll have to look into that. I should check pose fluids while I'm in here. You need more crystal. Dang, you're an OG to say that. I feel like people don't know who Crystal is anymore. I kind of put her to bed. How many nicknames does Blue have? Infinite. I find a new one every day. I call him Paper sometimes. I. You want to know how I got to that? <laughs> Putting on like icy hot on my neck. Did he eat my papers? No. <laughs> I call him. I call him Pupperloo a lot. And I also call him Babe or Baber. Like, Babe turned into Baber and Pup turned into Pupperloo. And there was one day I was like, I don't know how it happened, but I just, like, mixed the two. And it turned into Paperloo instead of, like, Baber or Pupperloo. It turned into Paperloo. And then I just dropped the loo and it just became Paper or Paperboy. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. That's how it is with dogs, though. You just, like... lost my glasses but I just found them <laughs> don't worry oh I need to use my um my my gosh Maria like learn how to talk Polaroid camera more I bought a Polaroid camera because I had this idea that I was supposed to do once I got Poe where I was going to end every single video with a Polaroid shot. Like it was gonna turn from like the digital scene to the Polaroid shot. And that's how I was gonna end every video after I got Poe. I thought I was like so genius. And then I just never did it. <laughs> so I have a Polaroid camera and I just never use it. From Spokane Valley. Hello, hello. Better? Yes, it's tell me it's better. Yeah, I think whoever said I did something with the um all, or the Bluetooth, you were right. I just I think I just hit my um editing headphones and they turned on. <laughs> my bad. So stop. <laughs> so
one said I just thumbs down as if you could see me. And that's so funny. <laughs> You guys, look at this junk drawer. This is crazy. It's just like an abyss. The Bermuda Triangle. Such a random collection of items. Also, I made specific stickers for people who uh, we run into in person. So, for all of the subscribers I'm meeting up here in Alaska, if you want one of these, ask me for one. Because you can only get it if you meet us in person. Okay. What rap song would you play every day? You know what? Oh, we need to put this up right now. The North Pole Alaska Coffee Company sticker. Um, what sort of rap song I haven't been able to stop listening to recently is um, Bout Me by Devour. Oh my gosh, I listen to it like a hundred times a day. Let me tell you something about me. It's so good. Although I have really, really been on my 80s kick hard as of late. I mean, I'm always on an 80s kick, but it's been brutal recently. Like I just start off my day with um, Brian Adams and the Beastie Boys. Careless Whisper. I think I've listened to that in the last week. It's always going to be a hit. Where should I put this on this side? What do we think over here? That's how I get stuff to stick instead of properly cleaning it. Oh my gosh, this won't work. Hello. Oh my gosh. Okay, got it. North Pole Coffee Company, this is for you. That's how you know I love that coffee. Do you ever plan to come to the Ozarks in Missouri? Yes, I was actually in the Ozarks in a couple of videos when I first got Poe, like a year ago probably. But I didn't really explore it, so I'll be going back. <laughs> Do you prefer long hair or short hair on a guy? My boyfriend needs a haircut. We're debating whether to buzz it short. Totally depends on the guy. I would need a picture in order to give my full opinion, to be honest with you. Do you think you'll ever come to Ontario, Canada near Toronto? Yeah, for sure. Especially when I hit up the East Coast, I will go to Niagara Falls. You know, when I first left for the 50 state road trip in 2017, the first time I did it, um, I saw like, it, it's like my brain stops as soon as I start talking. I went to uh, Niagara Falls first. It was my first stop. So 50 state road trip goes to Canada. <laughs> Is that coffee better than the coffee you got in Idaho? Oh my gosh. I forgot about that coffee in Idaho. That coffee in Idaho though was espresso. So that was more of like a... You, you made more of like an Americano or a latte with it where this is just like brewed coffee. So I'm going to say they're both the best and they're in separate categories. And that's how I got through that one. How is your skin always so glowy? Thank you. It's sweat. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Will you take Poe to Hawaii? I don't know. I debate that often. I would love to because I think like for the sentiment of going to all 50 states. You know, sometimes I'm like, should I just redo the states I did with Rue and Poe, just so Poe's been to all 50, but I need to like get out of that mindset. So I don't know. I think if it's, um, if it makes sense to, and at the time I wanna do that, sure I'll ship Poe and we can do that. But if 
um, it's too much at the time, then I'll just fly to Hawaii and rent something. You know what I mean? When will you have a meet and greet in the USA? This May, over my birthday, May 19th, I will be at Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona, and I'll be there all weekend. And Poe will be set up. You guys can come and meet us all weekend, hang out with Blue, and um, Poe will like be open. You guys could crawl all over Poe if you wanted. So if you guys wanna meet us for sure, get yourself a ticket to Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona, the weekend of May 19th. And we will be there. Okay, my mom might even come out for it. So you could just meet the trifecta. Drop the skincare routine, you guys, I don't have one. Sometimes, you know what I do use sometimes, but like I don't want you guys to go buy this because I, I rarely even use it. But like when, I, okay, if I'm like, if I were to be like living at a house, this is what I would use every day. But I don't really use this on the road right now. Where is it? Hold on. One sec. Also, I think I'm getting sick. I think I'm getting a cold. This brand. Tula. But I never, I never, I use it maybe once a week. So. Let me tell you something about me. Now I can't get that out of my head. I just love the beat of that song so much. Do you ever do your nails? No. Clean up? Okay, yeah, you're right. Well, I only have a little bit left, so I'm kind of slacking. I just need to mess with the junk drawer, if you will. Everything else is pretty much done. How cold is it? It's going to be like negative 55 tomorrow. And we're going to be out in it. You know, somebody commented yesterday and goes, please never sing again. <laughs> I love comments like that so much. <laughs> <laughs> Please never sing again. <laughs> Unfortunately for you all, I will continue to. But that is the funniest thing I've ever heard. I love it. Kara, thank you so much. Holy cow. That is so nice of you. Thank you so much. You guys are crazy. Are you Hispanic? I have Spanish in my in my big three. It's majority Italian and then Greek and then Spanish. Or is it Spanish and then Greek? No, it's... No, I think it's Greek than Spanish. Video editing game is get, somehow getting more and more fire. Thank you. That's like the biggest compliment you could ever give me. That's how you win me over. <laughs> That's how you win me over is to tell me my editing game is getting better. That's what I consider flirting. Just so you know, I brush my teeth twice a day. Good for you. Make it three. My mom just said she loves mean humor. I do. I love to be bullied a little bit. But that's because that's my family's humor. If you guys were to spend a week with my family and I, you would think we're all nuts. Because it's just like the meaner you are, the funnier it is. My, both my parents are constantly roasting me. You know, like two weeks ago, my dad... FaceTimed me because like my dad and I for some reason always talk on FaceTime. We never just like call on the phone ever. It's always video message. <laughs> and 
he called me and answered and he just saw the way I looked and he was like, go shower. <laughs> like, go shower. <laughs> you look terrible. So funny to me. Left from Ireland. Oh my gosh. I want to go back to Ireland so bad. It's actually my favorite place on earth is Ireland. Use some hand sanitizer. Um, the Wicklow Mountains are everything to me. And quite honestly, I think if I ever take Poe to the UK and Ireland, I just will be husband hunting in Ireland. I'll be like, anybody? Want to get me a green card, please? Anybody? Uh, what are we thinking? Just, I have like pickle wrappers up here. Oh my gosh, Maria, get a grip. Matt said, geez, I better cut that out then. Wait, cut what out? I am confusion. I really don't roast you. Yes, you do, mom. Oh my gosh, my mom roasts me so bad. You want to know what happened a few months ago? <laughs> so I was doing a Instagram Q and A, okay? And I always put, I just feel like this light is so intense. I always do a picture as the background of like me answering the question. So it's like always a little bit different. And there was a question, something, I think somebody was like hitting on me. And so I was trying to be like, cheeky and respond with a bunch of ugly pictures of myself this might have been more than it probably was more than six months ago but anyways my sister has a ton of super ugly pictures of me because she's my sister you know what I mean so like anytime I look awful or crazy and I send her like a selfie of it she like <laughs> she uh, screenshots it as any sister would and so I was reaching out to my sister. I'm like, hey, can you send me like all the ugly pictures you have of me? Because I want to respond to this comment of this guy hitting on me with like a bunch of, you get it. Anyways, and she didn't have that many. And so I asked my mom, hey, mom, could you send me any ugly picture you have of me? And she, she sent me back a normal picture. crying oh my gosh I was like if that wasn't the biggest roast of my life mom I meant like crazy you know what I mean and she, oh my gosh I was like dang okay <laughs> dang mom so your staff is like that I guess holy cow oh my gosh <laughs> just a normal smiley picture <laughs> That girl is crazy. <laughs> Savage behavior. Savage. Oh my gosh. I love her though. She's so crazy. Derek, thank you so much. <laughs> Literally. I'll never forget that. I just remember responding and being like, are you kidding me? But, like, what's so funny about it is, like, she wasn't making a joke. Like, she wasn't, like, trying to be funny just, like, sending me a picture of myself. Like, she was genuinely sending me, like, what she thought an ugly picture of me was. That's what's funny about it. She was not being, like, LOL, haha, just a picture of you. She was, like, oh, honey, here's where you aren't looking really good. There you go. Oh, my gosh. I love that woman. What is this? You guys, it looks a lot better in here. What is, oh. My last oil change report. So anyways.
This is Poe. Plaid seats for proof. Where's Blue? He's inside the Airbnb resting because he just had chemo. Can we hear a little Br British accent? I'm terrible at accents. I can't. My sister is super good at a British accent. Like, you could stick her in Harry Potter and you wouldn't be able to tell a difference. But me, not so much. I think I always turn into, like, people from Sussex. It's Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> like, I, just, I don't know. I'm not a good accent. I can do I can do country, but that's about it. That's about it. That's all she wrote. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how to do an Irish accent. You know, when I, <laughs> last time I was in Ireland, I took my sister. I don't know if I've ever told you guys about like the surprise trip era of my life where I was surprising everyone I knew with a trip to Europe. But anyways, when my sister was 15, I surprised her with a spring break trip to Italy and Ireland. And, um, oh my gosh, this is breaking. Poe is falling apart. Poor truck. But we went to Ireland. I had already been. But I could not understand. Like, we went to a Starbucks, because of course. And I could not understand what they were saying. Like, they were asking me if I wanted my sandwich toasted. And they were like, do you want it toasted? And I was like, huh, I'm so sorry. I don't, and my sister had to be like, Maria. Do you want it toasted? I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> thanks. Good times. You guys, I definitely, I'm getting a cold, I can feel it. Oh, you know what I have? You know what I have? If my mom is still on, she's gonna be so proud of me. Mother, are you there? Ow. Have you guys ever heard of this? It's called cold calm. It's like a, uh, it's a homeopathic medicine, but it's like to prevent cold, colds. And as soon as you, do you use two at first or one? But as soon as you feel a cold calm coming on, you start taking these. I think it's honestly just like a bunch of like zinc and vitamin C and stuff like that but it's i swear it works mom i'm using cold calm be proud of me it's like the only thing i've ever used that actually works so <laughs> don't do that irish accent again okay well you got it like an immunity booster i don't know Help your body the natural way. Anyways, Google it if you want to learn more, but it really does work. Hi, sis. What? You sounded like Borat for a second there. Very nice. Okay, I need to leave this out because I need to take more of that. <laughs> Your Irish accent is not an Indian, I don't know. I can do an Indian accent. I feel like I can do an Indian accent. And I can do country and that's about it. Oh, you guys, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? If you're still here, here's some tea. If you made it to this point. Wait, Eric, what's going on? I am Confucian. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, here's the tea. Poe is leaking several fluids and I was freaking out because 
Um, I thought I was gonna have to like ship him to Gordon in Seattle. Oh, your sister's in the chat? Oh, cool. Hi, Eric's sister. It's a family affair. Um, so I thought I was gonna have to ship Poe to Gordon in Seattle because no mechanics will work on Poe here. Like no one will even touch the Land Rovers. I don't know why. Alaska hates Land Rovers. But, um, so anyways, I talked to Joel, who if you don't know who Joel is, he's the guy who sold me the Defender. And um, he's like the best dealer in the world because he's like literally, he runs the dealership. Like he should have just sold me Poe and never talked to me again. Like that's how, usually how far people go with their business. And Joel has become like a really good friend of mine. And anytime anything goes wrong with Poe, I call him and I'm like, help me. And he does. And so anyways, I sent him a bunch of pictures of all the leaks. I have dog hair in my chapstick. Typical. And he was like, well, good for you. It's just normal leaky parts on the Defender. And as long as you keep the fluids topped off, you should be okay. But Poe is like leaking from the front axle, leaking from both swivel seals. I also hit something on the highway the other day. And I thought that's what caused it. But Joel doesn't think so. I don't know. Anyways, Poe is kind of down and out. But kind of not. It's always something. That's If, you, if any of you out there want to live on the road... Or you're curious what it's like. That is what you have to know. Oh, an essential oil roll-on stick. From Orcas Island in Washington. Um, is that where you're supposed to rub it? Where are you supposed to rub it? I'm like just putting out my neck because it hurts. But it's always something. You fix one thing. You, you give yourself like a little bit of a diesel heater when you need it and then your rig starts leaking it's always something you know and so you just kind of have to get used to always dealing with a problem a headache stick did i know i had that i don't i don't know maybe i don't know so listen it's all good it's the life i want to live and i love it like i i don't mean to sound like i'm complaining but just it's just the truth to know that it's always something Landy life forever. Amen to that. <laughs> Are you still in Alaska? Yes, I am. I love it here. I want to buy property up here. I want to put like a little cabin up here and make it my little home base that I come to seasonally. I would love that. How many miles are on Poe? 86,827 to be specific. You bought St. Nickerdoodle and it was bomb? Heck yeah. I love that. Is it maybe just ice melting? No, it's like black gear oil coming out of the front diff. Or not front diff. Front. No, I guess it is the front. Well, it's where the... You know what? I forgot what Joel said. I'm just not even going to pretend. Like, I knew what I was talking about. You guys, this was a su success. We did pretty good. And look, my cleaning solution is finally, th it's, well, I guess you can't see. This is all ice. Do you see that? I guess there's a little bit, but this is solid ice up until here. So this has got a detail on and I can like clean all my windows and stuff. If it's leaking, you know, you got oil. That's, that's true. Do you recommend the Dometic refrigerator? Yes. I love mine. Can you deal with months of darkness at a time like they do in northern Alaska? Yeah, I think I think you have to be taking vitamin D supplements, which I am. Like, you have to be sticking to a schedule. It definitely does affect you, like, if you're not used to it. <laughs> U of M or state? You know, I really don't have an opinion. A lot of my friends went to MSU because of the vet program there um, and like the agriculture side of things. So I know that's really good. I have friends who like show their horses there. 
that's cool. But my dad is a diehard U of M fan, and my stepdad is a diehard U of M fan, so I feel like I can't say that I like MSU, you know? It's not allowed in that house. <clears throat> what kind of food do you get, Blue? He's on We Feed Raw. Highly, highly recommend. Highly recommend. Very good brand. What am I doing with this? This needs to go over here. I just moved to Michigan and I'm going to MSU this fall. That's cool. WMU, I think that's where my dad went to college. Do you think he'd ever come to York City in Pennsylvania? No, because I had a really terrible boyfriend from there. So I would not like to revisit any of that. No shade, but all the shade at the same time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you speak it espanol. You know, I used to be fairly fluent, at least con conversationally fluent when I was younger, because I used to speak it a lot more. Um, but I haven't spoken in so many years that I highly highly doubt I could be even considered partially fluent right now. Sometimes when I go to like Spanish speaking countries or like Mexico, after a few days I can talk to people, but I'm, it's, no, short answer is no. Long answer short, no. Know what I mean? And I know that's tragic because my name is Maria. So it's like you and I look like I speak Spanish. Not Maria throwing shade. That's so funny. I'll throw shade when need be. If warranted. This is my reading face. <laughs> what am I reading right now? Um, it's what I posted in my most recent YouTube video. I'm still reading The Power of Now by what's his name Ec is it Eckhart Tolle I think maybe that's how you pronounce it and then I'm reading Obstacle is the way by I have no idea his name I'm gonna look and see if Poe's leaking still yep he is hold on I'll see if you guys can see this at all this is obviously like all snow but do you see that black dot right there I need to put something under that so it doesn't like hit the garage so this right here, where are we, where, hold on, hold on. Where is it, is it coming from here? There's a leak, say it. <laughs> Whoever just said I'm 6'5", that's so funny. I am 5'5". Five five. Everybody thinks, okay, so Poe is, Poe is seven foot six. I don't, I don't know how this is going to give you any sort of reference, but I'm five, five. And it's, the transfer case has a bad seal. Yeah, that's, that's, see, that's what it is. Transfer case has a bad seal. Which I guess, according to Joel, is pretty common in Defenders. So I just need to get that fixed by a specialty shop. Once I get back to the lower 48, but I'm, but for now, I'm just going to keep it topped off. You ordered the mountain is you. That's awesome. What a phenomenal book. I'm so happy for you. It's like that. Ugh, I don't, I haven't had a book like hit me that hard in a while. S such a phenomenal book.
I think somebody just said they finished Chop Would Carry Water. That's a, also a phenomenal book. I've talked to that author before. Joshua Medcalf. He's super cool. Nice guy. I don't think I'm short. I'm, you guys, I'm not short. I'm average height. Short is like five, five, three and below. Average is like five, four to five, eight, right? Would we all agree? <laughs> My mom's in the comments being like, she's read the David Goggins books. <laughs> You look Italian. Thank you, I am. Five eight is above average? Oh. Well, I don't know. Five five is average though. We're not short. Have you thought about writing a book from about your travels. I I get that comment so often and it's always so wild to me because I don't know what I would say. Like everything's documented on video, you know? Can I pet that dog? Pinion seal? Yeah, it might be. I think that's what Joel was talking about. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna lose my voice in a couple of days. Do you guys ever get sick and then you just can tell your voice is about to go? I can already tell. If my voice, if my voice is shot, I'm gonna do an ASMR video. I bet people would love it, me just shutting up for once. <laughs> and like not talking. It'd probably do really well. You're Italian and you can't cook. You sound like my father. Also, where is he? Also, where is Christian? I think, honestly, thank you, Mom, for being in here. I think this is the first live I have ever done that my dad and my brother weren't in. Wow, how lucky am I that I've been doing lives for, like, a year and a half, and this is the first time they've missed one. I love them. The guy who doesn't like your singing would love you being quiet for a video. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. I would make that one viewer so happy. Unfortunately, I can't appease everybody. No ASMR, please. Well, guys, I don't mean like ASMR, like on the mic, like doing the tapping thing, but I just mean like a video with no sound. Cause my voice is shot, I can't talk. I can't squeak my way through a video. How do you get your teeth so white? You brush them twice a day. Have you tried other flavors of North Pole coffee? I have not. Have I? Well, I think when I went there to buy, to restock, um, once when I was in that office, like I tried whatever they had brewing, I think, but it was like a fruity one. I'm not like a huge fan of fruity coffee. Like blueberry coffee and stuff. So. I'm 100% getting sick. No, I'm not. Words are powerful, so I'm not. But I am, you know? <laughs> where's my cold call? Where's my cold call? Where, actually, where did I put, what? I thought I said, what? Hello. Um, <laughs> where did she put it? Gosh, you can't leave me alone for two seconds. I'll forget everything. Did I put it away? Is there a ghost? What is happening? Oh, I'm just stupid. 
<laughs> what else is new? Do you guys ever do that? I put stuff away all the time and forget that I put it away. And then I have to find it later. <laughs> There's my brother. Hi, Shannon. He said, did you leave the truck running in the garage? <laughs> I did leave my brains somewhere else. <laughs> you lose your glasses when they're on your face. I do that with my phone sometimes. I'll look for it while it's in my hand. Or like I'll be playing like a podcast and I'll have it set up somewhere and I'm like listening to it on my phone and then I'll search Po for my phone. While it's like, I don't know. How do you do your 50 state road trip to Hawaii? I was thinking of just putting floaties on Poe's tires and hoping for the best. How do you read all those comments that fast? I don't, I kind of, my brain, like I have squirrel brain too. So I kind of like read whatever one pops up, grabs my attention. And then I just, it's like kind of chance, whatever I read. You know, sometimes I feel really bad because like my dad or somebody who was in the live who catches more stuff than I do will be like, why were you ignoring like that one person who kept asking you something? And it's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I'll go back and watch a part of the live and I'll see somebody asking the same question over and over again. And I keep not answering it, but it's like in real time, I just don't read it. And then I feel bad because it's like, dang, I, like, it, it looks like I'm not answering it on purpose, but I, I promise I just can't keep up. Favorite Taylor Swift song? Oh, I bet you think about me featuring Chris Stapleton. I hope Lou is sleeping too. I'm sure he is. I remember you dropping your phone in front of your dad. It was actually my GoPro. Yeah, that happens all the time. It's I think every single time my dad and I go out to eat, I either spill a drink or I drop something. I remember a couple of years ago, I went home and we went to like a Mexican restaurant and <laughs> we got um, like takeout boxes to bring our leftovers home. And I was putting like fajita stuff into a to-go bin and I somehow like hit the edge of it and knocked the entire fajita thing all over my lap and all over the ground and then knocked the plate over too and i think i spilled my water right after like all within three seconds and my dad just was like you never change like there's just nothing else you can say to me oh so comments slow down for just me and not you guys that's crazy. Where's Bubby? He's inside. I'll show you guys him in a sec. We'll go check on him. And then I've got to get to editing. So you guys can have a video this weekend. Do you ever think about getting Poe painted a different color? When I first uh, purchased Poe, or rather got the picture, like once Joel found him in the UK, I, th I was thinking about painting 
getting him painted eventually because I've always wanted an alpine white defender that's always been my dream so I thought I was just gonna like do it myself but then once I saw Poe in person I because in person Poe almost looks tan like he's not I mean he's green but he's not super green like it's especially in the summer he looks more tan than anything and so I thought that was so cool I was like I'll just keep it but <laughs> I know my dad hates it. Like when I, he saw Poe in person, he's like, you're painting it, right? <laughs> no, I'm not. Night, mama. Love you. My dad said I drop things because I'm too excited. I think I'm just clumsy. Like I, just, I think I'm just like, I just knock stuff over all the time. I have no spatial awareness. Yeah, I'll never paint Poe now, but I would, I think eventually someday in my life I'll get another Defender that's Alpine White because I have to before I die. All right, guys, let's go check on Poe. Po. Let's go check on Blue. I, <laughs> her brain cells are gone. Um, let's go check on Blue, and then I am going to let you guys go because I've got to get to editing and then hopefully get to bed sit at a semi-decent hour tonight so I don't get super sick. I, ooh, <laughs> the echo. I hope that guy who hates my singing heard that. You aren't even a little tempted to get a van after your experience living in one. I listen, it was so comfortable. It was like too comfortable. It's cheating. Having a van, no hate, is cheating. It's a house on wheels. That thing is so luxury. Am I tempted to get one? Like, of course. Like, there's no way you can camp in a van and not think it's amazing, because it is. It's such a nice user experience. <laughs> but I just would never go through with it. It's just not, not me. Well, look who's not sleeping at all. Yeah, probably cause he hears me talking. So I gotta stop talking so he'll go to bed. Tum here, tum tum, tum 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 tum. Say goodbye. Say goodnight to everybody. Bubby said, thank you for the donations to everybody. It's going directly into my chemo fund. And that he loves everybody and he's so grateful for you guys. Okay, bye guys. We love you. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you at the next live in February. Bye-bye.